have been following this and also tracking ADOT cameras. At one point, they were going pretty high speed. You notice now as you look at that SUV, it appears to be going a little bit slower. That's because when we go in closer, we realize they're driving on rims at this point. So we believe that somewhere along the way, they threw out the stop sticks and blew those tires. And so you can see he's driving all on rims, that driver at this point. Also, we can tell you as we've been watching, there are no less than 30 cars following behind. Most of them have their sirens on, their lights are flashing behind them. Um, so it is a huge, huge presence following this car. What we don't know this point is why. Yeah. We want to continue to catch you up at this hour since about noon. That white SUV has been leading police on a chase through the West Valley. We know that at one point they're at 83rd Avenue and continuing to head west. So we're trying to track and figure out where they are right now. But if you look very closely, we're noticing that that SUV now driving on rims. All the tires have been blown out, so we have to figure that DPS did a stop stick maneuver at some point to blow out those tires, so they're not going at a high, high rate of speed. And also, as our camera pulls out, we have seen that there are at least 30 different police vehicles following behind with their lights on, and that also means that there's no other traffic following along closely with that suspect vehicle. They were in kind of that full flying position behind them, that formation. Uh, all, you know, most of them with their lights on, most marked vehicles. And we do know from stories past of chases that have happened on Valley freeways, we do know that it is part of DPS protocol anyway, um, that they are, they are not supposed to chase a driver who's wanted just for a traffic violation. Um, they're not supposed to continue in a crowded area and they have to have their lights and sirens on. So we have seen they've stopped the other traffic so far behind them. They have had their lights on. So the question next is what is that person wanted for? And how many people are in that car? We don't know. You can kind of get a flash of the driver's seat when the camera goes in close, but that's about it. It's otherwise very dark tinted windows as we follow and track this, this car. And you can see on the exit ramp there now, uh, you can see all of those semis and other traffic stops. So traffic is not entering the freeway heading west either at this time, it appears. Like, was that a that DPS like vehicle, a, law enforcement? Like a, a, okay, looks like they're going like to try the pit a maneuver. SWAT vehicle. So okay. this is maybe where yep. they try to bring it to an end. Here Look, they're go. already boxing him in. Yep. Moving him off to the side of the road. He's on the He's speeding now. up, though. Oh, he's, he's trying swerving. to gas it. But yep. those tires are not going to take him. Okay, That's, watch. You yeah. can see that SUV is swerving now. They're trying to stop him. He, he's a little bit out of control, mm -hmm. going at a higher rate of speed now. Those tires, of course, not giving him a whole lot of control. What they're trying to do right now is the pit maneuver. The stop sticks didn't work. So yep. what they want to try to do, Nohe, as you mentioned, is box him in. That's what they're doing right now. They're boxing him in. Looks like they've made contact there Using with the Using the more heavy-duty okay. vehicles so there. So now let's see if he gets out where we're at with this. Okay, we can see officers getting out. Protecting themselves still, yep. still hiding behind their vehicles uh, before they get out. You know that they're going to start yelling towards him, telling him get out of the vehicle. So that's what we're watching. This is also still a really rural area around them. So you can see on the grass median, there's not really anywhere to go from there. So you can see all of those DPS cars that we saw following in the distance. They're all pulling up now to the scene. They're parking. We see more officers running out towards that white SUV that led these DPS troopers on this chase today. All coming to a head here after uh, Mesa police tell us that U.S. Marshals tried to, there's a police chopper in front of our shot there, uh, tried to do a, a traffic stop here on a man uh, who then just kept going and led them now for the last half hour to the far west valley out near Buckeye at this time. They have just boxed him in, did a pit maneuver. The car spun around, lost control, and now is facing in the wrong direction. And now we see members, individual members running out uh, and protecting themselves in tactical finding tactical spots uh, to try and get that driver out of the car. Yeah. The fact that they're able to bring this to a peaceful resolution, mm -hmm. even though, uh, you know, the tactic that they had to use to box him in, certainly, uh, you know, violent in its own way, but uh, that he is, you know, he's standing, they've got him under arrest. This is always the resolution that you prefer to see. And so a big effort by DPS to keep him safe, to keep other drivers safe. Absolutely. Uh, we definitely have to acknowledge that at this point. As we work to learn more about his backstory, that's what we still need to hear at this point mm -hmm. as they start to load him, uh, you know, have him under arrest in, in custody and load him into other vehicles. Now they're walking him to another one.
Definitely, as you mentioned and you point out with that box maneuver, I mean, that's about as textbook as it gets. That's what they train for. Things went accordingly the way they're yep. supposed to. Of course, you never know what is the situation with that driver. So even the way they approach the vehicle afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, so very fortunate that, that this turned out the way that it has uh, with a peaceful arrest. But also you've got to think about those DPS drivers who, even though they're trained for this, they are always taking a huge risk Absolutely. with their own personal safety. Mm -hmm. Clearly, a decision was made to to use their bigger vehicles uh, that are, you know, more heavily built, the trucks with the full campers the on profile, the back, yep. exactly, not just a, a regular car, a police oh. car, uh, to do those maneuvers, uh, but still, you know, taking taking their own lives into their own hands to try and bring a peaceful and, and safe as possible end to this, as they seem to have accomplished here. And the other telling piece of information, U.S. Marshals involved here. So there has to be that's something. where we imagine the backstory will come from. Not that they just happened to pick up a pursuit on the highway, um, but also that they probably had at least a little bit of a profile of who they're after. So while there is a big unknown, they may also have had a lot of information about who they are after, what they possibly could anticipate in a situation like this, what they're driving into. Now we're also finally seeing a fire truck is on scene, the yellow one on the left. So we've got medics on scene presumably as well probably checking out the suspect before they start to fully you know, officially arrest him take him mm -hmm. to the station and have him booked mm -hmm. uh, seeing if he'll need any medical help there as well this picture gives you a sense too of just the coordination that it must have taken across the valley because you see how there's this is the i-10 so that traffic heading east lets you know of what the regular traffic flow mm -hmm. was at about lunchtime there at the top of the hour but then the other side where that white suv is leading the way the path that they had to clear the number of of exits from the stack out to the far west valley that they had to shut down and block traffic so that no more people pulled into traffic to get in the way so that DPS could have full range of trying to slow this person down. I mean, and really what it takes to do that effort. Yes, yep, to get that absolutely. done. Absolutely. And what it, so if you think about that and the, you know, at least dozen miles or so that right. this driver was still able oh, to go with the tires like that. You can see a tire rolling across the road. There oh, was wow. a quick shot rolling through. So that poses mm. another danger as those tires came off. All of the DPS troopers behind them had to maneuver around and avoid a rolling tire across them and their path on the freeway. Wow, that was a shot.